One of the things I like to emphasize in class is the structure of a good debate. I feel like when kids disagree, they're forced to provide evidence for their end of the argument. And that's something that we practice daily in science class. I like the way we argue and debate because no one's mad in the situation. We're all listening to one another. We're open-minded to, we're up for new ideas. No one gets upset. We can all just work together and talk it out and try to understand one another's point of view. We're all debating on different things and we all have different answers and we're debating on it, we're building on and we're stealing ideas from other people. I constantly encourage students to steal each other's ideas because it's like if you hear a good idea and it, and it forms a better argument, you should take that idea and apply it to your own argument. In that same vein, we do a lot of group work. How do you feel that group work influences your science education? I feel like the group work really helps us out because sometimes you can really be stuck in science because that's just one mind working on it. But now that you have multiple minds, you can have a better understanding of the situation. Just as Christian said that we're all open-minded and that there's multiple minds and that we could work on it together. And not only that, but like, I feel like we could kind of like get along and it's like building a bond. And the responsibility really falls on, on the students. They're doing the science. They're not learning the science from me. They're, they're asking the questions. They're setting up the experiments that answer those questions and then forming arguments based on the data that they collect. 